All right, guys, the Washington Mystics are finally WNBA champs for the first time in their history. And Natasha Cloud, she guaranteed that they were going to win um, after game four, after they lost in Connecticut. And what a game it was. What a series it was, and especially these last two games. Game four and game five were so crazy. Tonight's game was a little bit similar to game four for the Mystics for me because they kind of came out a little slow. Offense wasn't really clicking, except in game four, they um, they came out strong in the third quarter, and then I guess the momentum kind of died down. But tonight, they didn't come out strong in the fourth quarter. Um, they called a timeout, and I think that's when things really started to click after that. But just what a game. I honestly thought this might have gone to overtime. I wanted it to go to overtime because I was just like more basketball. If you guys don't know, the WNBA finals only go to five games, not seven games, like the NBA. So this was, you know, win or go home, all or nothing tonight. And you just have to feel so good for Elena Deladon, someone who was banged up in the finals last year, got swept in the finals, they didn't win a game, and then gets back to the finals this year after winning MVP in the regular season, and then has a herniated disc in her back and has to fight through that and just... You know, I just thinking, wow, what would happen, you know, if they lost tonight and she was banged up for two finals in a row and fell short both times, how mentally tough and how mentally draining that has to be. So for her to win tonight, just seeing her celebrate like right after they got the win, just when they hugging and when they were hugging and everything, you know, when any team, you know, right after they won a championship, kind of like Mosh Pit and just seeing her yelling and being so happy, that must have almost been like like a sigh of relief because she finally did it and coming so close to almost heartbreak again had to just you know it just had to be so good to win it and I feel I'm so happy for her because she really she really did deserve this but also there's another person whose name started with an E I said they're the killer E's on Twitter I tweeted this out because you know there's no more killer B's in Pittsburgh so you gotta have the killer E's in DC and that's Emma Miesemann she just, she won MVP and just, she had come alive this whole playoffs and tonight, down the stretch into the fourth quarter, she just took over. She took over, put that team on her back, put Elena Deladon, I don't want to say she put Elena Deladon on her back, but she had Elena Deladon's back. I mean, Elena Deladon had, I think she was one board shy of a double-double. She had a great game, but Emma Misaman was coming up with some clutch, clutch plays and just... These whole playoffs, she's really been a breakout star, and she was the X Factor tonight for the Mystics. And just speaking on the Sun for a second, they're a young team. I, I don't, I expect them to be back in the playoffs. I expect them, you know, to be back in the finals. I think they have a really bright future ahead of them. Um, John Call Jones, with all those whistles tonight, she got a lot of fouls. Um, some of them were questionable, yeah, but. Um, yeah, the whistles, a lot of people were complaining about that on Twitter, and it makes sense. The first half was, was pretty slow. Uh, second half, especially that fourth quarter, really sped up. But just a great, a great, great series. So entertaining. I'm really happy for the Mystics and Elena Deladon. Can't lie, but the Sun, um, they're a great like, underdog story this year. And their, their time, I don't even think it's here yet, you know what I mean? I think uh, it's just a bright, bright future ahead for them. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. I, I'm going to go back to watching the Giants game here. There's so many sports going on right now. It's crazy. I'm just, like, shook. I'm, like, bleh, like I'm watching the basketball game on my computer, the football game on my PS4, and then, like, trying to follow the basketball, uh, the baseball game on my phone to see who the Yankees are going to play. It looks like it's going to be uh, Houston. So it's just it's, it's great. It's a great time of year right now. I'm in, I'm in overload, but... It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, make sure you drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Giants Instagram action will be recorded as soon as the game's over. It's looking like they're going to lose right now, but um, you never know. Peace out.